Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm very excited to show you my new plants. I'm a plant girl now and I'm very excited about it. I have some pots. I'm gonna be showing you also how I DIY'd some of the pots because I think that's super fun. I made my own hanging plant. Pretty exciting stuff here. First, I'll start with the plants I got. They're all from Steins. Okay, first one is this aloe plant. They were 40% off all of the succulents and stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the names on the screen if I don't know how to pronounce it. But this one is an aloe plant. It's $5.99, but then 40% off. So the math, you know. Very cute, very healthy looking, except for this leaf. Um, I, I don't know what we're gonna do about him, but we have a pot for him and I'll show you that later. Next, I have this one. He or she is so pretty and cute and has little pink tips on him. Can you see? It's almost $5.99, but also 40% off. And I don't know how to say the name, so <laughs> this is it. Okay, this next one, I also really don't know how to say the name. It's so pretty though. Okay, it says it's a tropical plant on it, which makes me nervous because nothing about my house is tropical. It's kind of cold, but I have a essential oil diffuser, so I thought if I put it on with no oils in it and just water, it'd be like kind of a humidifier. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good plan, but so beautiful. Are you kidding me? And this one was $5.99. Hey, this one is a primrose primrose whatever and he's out of season so he was in the clearance section and only 53 cents so i had to rescue him and when i first got him like all of his leaves were droopy but now these ones are like standing up and they're like thriving so i love that for him now i have six plants total which is so exciting a lot of fake ones too so they don't die I need to take care of them to the best of my ability because I'm not the best. I bought this plant meter thing on Amazon. I'll link it below for you. But it measures the moisture, the light, and the pH balance. I didn't even know that was the thing that plants needed. Hopefully this will help me keep them healthy. The first pot is for my aloe plant. And oh my god, is this not the cutest pot you've ever seen? That is so cute. It was from Hobby Lobby. They were all also 40% off, I'm pretty sure. It was $14.99, but then 40% off of that. Oh, so cute. On a little shelf with my aloe plant in it. I have another one of the same one um, for this little guy. So you can just drape down the side of it. Next, I have this one. It like fits the same vibe. And then this little guy is gonna go in it and he'll be so cute i have to pot them all um i haven't done that yet obviously i have to buy more soil because some of them don't have enough to fill the whole pot and then i bought just a plain like white one because i couldn't find any other ones that i like but i wanted it to fit the same vibe as these ones okay so then i have this one and i painted it to try and be the same color it's pretty close it's not perfect and then for the paint for this i mixed it with baking soda because it makes it the texture i don't know if you can see of like a terracotta pot so it like literally feels exactly like that but i think it looks so nice and this one was only 4.99 i'll show you me painting this one And then I also took a Sharpie and I drew all of this design on it and it's not perfect. I think it looks so cute. And this one's for my little clearance guy. He's gonna thrive in there, hopefully. I don't mean to pat myself on the back, but... Okay, next, I have this plant that's a hanging plant. Been in the same, like, red container since I bought it. And I bought it on Earth Day last year, so that was literally, like, nine months ago, probably. And I've kept it alive. I brought it to my dorm. It's kind of dying right now. Um, it lost a couple leaves, but it's fine. We're working through it. I took off the straps for it, and then I painted the pot white so it would match the vibe of my room better. And then I made a macrame holder for it. Okay. 
Okay, so for the macrame holder, I took this twine that I had and I basically did four loops of it and then tied it at the top so that there would be eight strings total and then I just cut it at the bottom. And then I taped it down so it'd be easier to work with and I separated it into groups of two strings. I will link the video that I followed to do this below because I'm bad at explaining it. And then I basically just tied each of the two strings together in a knot. And then I separated them and tied them again. Instead of the same two strings, I used one string from one of the knots and one from the other knot. And then I tied it in one big knot at the bottom when I was done with that. I think I did three small knots and then one big one. And then here's the finish and my cat jumped on the counter. But she's not allowed to be up there. I made it. And it looks so cute. Okay, yeah, but don't mind the yellow leaves um, and the fact that this has no leaves because they died. But I think he's doing better now. This was just a ball of string and then I made this from it. I will show you this other one that I made for my fake little plants. It's like the macrame holder. It is so cute. I recommend everyone trying macrame because it's so easy and you don't even have to like measure where like the little knots go. Like it just kind of works out for some reason. It is probably the cutest thing I've ever made. It makes me feel crafty. Like I'm good at crafts. Okay, that is it you guys. I will show you all of them once they are repotted and looking so cute. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had too much fun buying these. Don't let me go into a plant store alone because I will not come out for hours and probably 20 plants. So I have to watch myself now. <laughs> but since I'm spending a lot of time in my room, since I'm doing this semester online, I'm just excited to have some new plants to look at and to freshen up like the air and everything. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all next week. Bye.